And despite the storm, after two months in space, two American astronauts are back on Earth tonight. The crew of the SpaceX rocket that launched from Cape Canaveral in June successfully splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico today, hundreds of miles west of tropical storm Isaias. I was there when we brought you the launch live on News for Jacks, watching alongside tens of thousands who ushered in the first American launch in more than a decade. Splashdown. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for splashdown. SpaceX copies and concurs. We see splashdown and mains cut. Dragon Endeavor has returned home. NASA astronauts and Bob and Doug. On behalf of the SpaceX and NASA teams, welcome back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. Nearly two months for Robert Benkin and Doug Hurley in space, and tonight they're back on Earth after time at the International Space Station. The splashdown is the first for U.S. astronauts in 45 years. The crew was removed from the capsule and placed on stretchers, which is standard protocol for astronauts when they return. I, I can't thank enough the men and women across the country from SpaceX and, uh, and NASA uh, who worked so tirelessly over five years to make this day happen, uh, to make the, the whole mission go smoothly. The success of this mission is an accomplishment for both NASA and SpaceX, which sent its first manned mission into space in more than a decade. To demonstrate that we could successfully recover that capsule and then that we could also uh, bring back cargo from space. There's some valuable science that we brought back in two freezers on board the, the, the Dragon vehicle. SpaceX will be uh, spending the next six weeks inspecting the capsule before their next scheduled launch at the end of September. On that mission, four astronauts will spend a full six months on board the International Space Station.